This piece is called Nevermore. It's a crazy quilt wall hanging. It's about 28 inches high and 25 inches wide. And let's go in closer for a look at some of the details. This is a porcelain raven. It's a cabochon that I've then added pearls and a glass bead to. And you can see the fabric in the background has spooky eyes. Here's a cauldron that I've added a skull button to, and then I've used silk organza ribbon to make the smoke coming out of the cauldron. And you can see the hand-painted mushroom just to the left of that. The moon is made with crystals and rosemont teas and two cut beads. And the stars around that are vintage nail head stars. You can just see the little spider that's in the fabric of the, the spider web fabric there. Here's some Nevermore fabric with the raven on it that I used as a centerpiece. And then all these flowers and leaves that are here on top of the lace were actually handmade by me out of silk velvet using antique Victorian flower molds. They were added with French knots and straight stitches to adhere them to the fabric. The blue portion here is vintage rayon seam binding that I've ruched. And then those green dangles are actual beetle wings. Here we have a dragonfly, a heart bead, some black leaf trim to which I've added a lot of beads. This button is a woman in a field of flowers reading from a book of spells. The pieces around that button are mother of pearl sticks. We have some chains here, and from the chains we have hanging a goddess, a skull and mushrooms, a tarot card, a witch's hat, a hand-blown glass vial to which I've added black beads, and a hand-painted raven. This is silk shibori ribbon that I've manipulated and added beads to, as well as a cup chain, and that is a vintage Favarsky round that the ribbon is going through. This embroidery is called an unalomi. It represents the spiritual journey. Here's the all-seeing eye to which I've added to a bezel that's made of metal with flowers around it that I embroidered the triangle and added the spacer beads and the two hands for palm reading. Here's a witch's hat that I've embroidered and a hand-painted haunted house button. There's the Nevermore. And around the edge, I've used a fabric, which is something wicked this way comes. On the back, I've used an orange, pumpkin orange, velveteen to back it. And for the sleeve, I've used a skull fabric so you can slip your branch in through that sleeve for hanging.